I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my channel. And let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for sharing their views and excellent questions. This question comes from one of our students. Let me thank her and hope the solution of this question will help many others. The question here is, let P represent the size of the frog population in a marsh at time t in years. At t equals to zero, a species of frog is released into a marsh. When t equals to five, biologists estimate that there are 2,000 frogs in the marsh. Two years later, the biologists estimate there are 3,200 frogs. Find a formula for p equals to g of t. How many years will it take for the population to grow to 10,000 frogs? Does this seem reasonable? So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Now, let us first get the model. Now we'll assume exponential model in this case. Normally in such situation, that is the best model to pick. Now, P represents the size of frog population at any time T. So let's call P of T as the population of frog at any time T, where T is in years. And we'll define a variable P0 as the initial number of frogs introduced. And let R be the rate of growth and t the time. Now we know that after two years, after five years, when t equals to five, estimated population was 2000 frogs. So let's write this. So we got 2000 here. We don't know the initial population. We don't know the rate of growth, but we know that after five years, this was the situation. So that is our equation number one. Two years later, that means after seven years, the population grew to 3200. We are assuming the same rate of growth, right? So, now if I divide one equation by the other, then we can find the value of R. So, 2 divided by equation 1, right? So we get 3200 divided by 2000 equals to P and P cancel R to the power of 7 minus 5, which is, well, let's write R to the power of 7 over R to the power of 5, which is R square, right? So from here, we get the value of R as, now this is uh, when you cancel, So it is 1.6, right? So square root of 1.6 is equal to r. Square root of 1.6 is equal to, in decimals, 1.265, let us say, right? Okay, so that becomes the rate of growth, 1.265. Once we know the rate of growth, we can find the initial population introduced using any one of our equations, right? So let's use the first equation and find P0. So what we get here is 2000 equals to initial population. R value is 1.265 to the power of 5, correct? So from here, we get 2000 divide by 1.265 to the power of 5 as the initial population. So it is 2000 divided by 1.265 to the power of 5, which is equal to 617. 
So it is always a round number. So we'll take 617 as our initial population. And that gives us the formula, which is P of t at any time the frog population and t is year since it was introduced. It is equal to 617 r is 1.265 to the power of t. So we are done part 1. Now b. How many years will it take for the population to grow to 10,000 frogs? Does this seem reasonable? Well, let us find the time and then figure it out. But it does seem reasonable since we are introducing a species of frog. Now, whenever you introduce a new species, there is less competition, right? So, so their population could actually grow very fast. Let's first find the time. So 10,000 is equal to 617, 1.265 to the power of t. So we'll divide by 617, so 10,000 divided by 617 equals to 1.265 to the power of t. Now we can take log both sides and then solve, right? So we get log of 10,000 over 617 equals to t times log of 1.265. So t is equal to log of 1,000, I mean 10,000 divided by 617 over log of 1.265, correct? Let's find this answer. So we have log of 10,000 divided by 617. And we'll divide this by log of 1.265, 11.849, let's say 85. So almost uh, 11 years and 10 months, right? So, so that is the time when the population will increase to, so we can say 11 years and 10 months. So that is the time required for the population to grow to 10,000. It seems to be reasonable since new species of frog introduced may not have competition, right? And we have already seen that in the seven years it has grown. Since we have seen a growth rate between fifth to seventh year, so another 11 years, I mean, to go to make it uh, 10,000. So total time, that means four more years to go to make it to 10,000. So that is quite reasonable. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.